<laughs> all right, ladies, if you are searching for love in all the wrong places, help is here. Dating expert Rochelle Peachy went on 1,000 dates just as research for a new book, and she is breaking it down the best, the worst, the strangest dates that she experienced, and she's going to help you maneuver successfully through the dating scene this morning. Please help us uh, welcome Rochelle. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so my first question, why the why? heck 1,000 dates? What's up with this? Well, we... We wanted to see who would answer a very plain personal ad. Single female, uh, slim and attractive, seeks male for fun times. I didn't know if we could get any responses. We ended up getting over 2,000. 2,000 responses, so you went all over the country. All over the going country. Going on dates with men. Yep. And what kind of experiences did you have? I know you had some good experiences, but there was also some strange mixed in there. Some really, really weird um, experiences. Lots of married men turned up, big no-no. That's not a good. Thing and to do. were they upfront about the fact that they were hitched? Oh at, yeah, uh, but, on the date. So I had to put those married men in two categories. You were married and you didn't trash your wife, so I guess you got one point. Then you were married and you really trashed your wife, so no points at all. So yeah, I, I put them in a horrible category. But then I had a guy that um, he fought with the waiter and ended up getting arrested. So I was sitting there while the police took him off. <laughs> Another guy who had put fake tan on, so throughout the date he was getting tan and tan and tan until I just couldn't bear he it any longer. He just started to get more orange, get more and orange, orange and orange. Orange and orange and orange. It wasn't even a good one. Another guy couldn't end the date or go to work until he'd eaten his eggs. Uh, he had to eat all the white of the egg, and if he broke the yolk, he had to order more. So we were there like three hours because it just wasn't happening for him because he was nervous, kept cutting into the yolk. So we had that. Um, okay, so what would you say was the big lesson learned after going out on a thousand dates? Don't place such um, a personal ad that anyone could answer. So now I have a website called iloveyouraccent.com, which, and I tell people, be specific. Don't just say, I'd like to meet a man five foot six to six foot, non-smoker, I don't care. Be very specific. Okay, know what you want. Absolutely. Because that's the only way you're oh, going to get it. Oh, that's the only way. And it's, it's okay to, to say, I want to meet a tall man. It's okay for a man to say, I want to meet a slim woman. It's okay for a woman to say, I want a bald man. Because that's or, the only way you're going to get what you want. Otherwise, you're going to be inundated with it. And when you're, when you're dating, I love your accent. It's not about getting hundreds and hundreds of replies the way I did with, with, with my, my, my dating. It's about getting replies from people that you really want to meet. Mm -hmm. so, people that are going to waste your time. You're not going to waste, waste your time yours. and get tan and tan and do the things that they did with me. <laughs> and eat <laughs> eggs and all that kind of stuff. Really? Okay, Rochelle, well, we want to definitely talk to you a little bit more in the show. And so if you have any relationship questions for Rochelle, she'll answer your love inquiries. You can head on over to our website, dailybuzznow.com, and click on your two cents. We'll be back after this commercial break. Stick with us. Mm -hmm.